What's up, everybody? It is the Best Bot Kids Smooth, and I am back with another video. And man, we're going to be talking a little bit about the Outer Worlds. This video, you know, is a bit lengthy, and not because I'm going to be talking a whole lot about it. I sort of want to do a review, but then again, I kind of silly, I don't. I didn't like record any gameplay. I kind of did all my game uh, streaming on Mixer. Got to follow me there, mixer.com uh, slash I am kids move i streamed the whole game there finished it last night during weapon will so that's why some of the talking you're gonna hear um or the gameplay is gonna be like bg bond and everyone arguing over like death stranding or anything but i just want to give a quick impressions before i i show off my uh my final encounter uh my my final the, the last mission boss fight whatever i just want to uh show that off to you um man like you guys know i am not in a, a an rpg guy at all like i i, I treated fallout three and full out for the same way got the game got out the vote 30 minutes to an hour after getting out the vote i dropped the game completely happened in uh 2000 uh was it 2008 when uh fallout um three and it happened uh, a couple years ago when fallout four came out just wasn't my uh cup of tea can't i don't like managing shit i don't like slow game play i don't like things taking too uh long to get started um and and that's why i didn't intend on buying the outer worlds i was like you know well um, the only reason why i was able to play it because it was on game pass and i was like you know what let me give this game a try you know what i mean i, I was like i'm probably not gonna like it because i don't like fallout i gave this game a try and man i freaking loved it i started it i couldn't stop i like i would pick up the game i would start the next thing I know, three hours would go by, and I'm like, oh shit, like I was supposed to stream Call of Duty, or I was supposed to play Call of Duty for a review, and all this stuff, so, and this literally, Outer Worlds pushed back the content I was supposed to do with Call of Duty, it pushed that I was supposed to put out a review, I'm still going to do it, uh, once I finish the game, but I, was, I, was, I just got like, warped into the game, fell in love with the characters, uh, the missions, the, the storyline, the structure, um, like, it, I just enjoyed playing it, I, I, of course I have my gripes, uh, with the game, like I'm, I'm not a fan of the loading times. Uh, uh, I'm not a fan of how, like, you know, some like the side missions would just always open up to another side mission. Some people like that stuff, but it like I felt like I was just over encumbered of like things to do. But because I enjoyed the gameplay and what I was doing and the way I was upgrading, I was like. I, I enjoyed my time shrinking all my workload down. And it was just like, oh, okay, you know, I, I got through it. And to, to the point, I got to the end of the game and we're like, holy shit, this is literally at the end of the game. And I made sure I streamed it. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure if I'll be doing a review of The Outer Worlds, but I do want to say, man, this is probably one of the best games that I played. It's definitely a contender for Game of the Year for me. Um, you know, we got Gears 5, you know, Sekiro, Outer Worlds is definitely up there uh it took me about 28 hours on the first playthrough i do want to intend on playing through another playthrough to kind of get the opposite ending because there's a, multiple endings you can get with this game um so the gameplay that's going to follow uh this little impressions here is going to be really me taking on uh the warden the uh like the final boss and um one of her uh wardens it took me it was rough like if you can see during my gameplay i it took me about like five times during the stream on that part alone and and i would lose my companions uh, very early so you'll know you'll see at the start of this gameplay i have two companions and after that <laughs> uh they don't last uh too long but um but I finally get it done um and i don't mind sharing this gameplay because people be like spoiler spoiler the way I played the game, the decisions I made will be probably completely different from the way you play the game and the decisions you made. So, different endings. Not everything turns out to be the uh, turns out to be the same. Uh, I'm not going to include like the 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 ending ending they, where, they, where they tell you what happens to all the people because that is not really necessary. It's just the, the fight, and I just want to show you guys how I how I did, and just I wanted to have something on display on my channel for the Outer Worlds, like some sort of gameplay, because I wasn't recording gameplay. I didn't stream to YouTube when I was playing this game. I was streaming exclusively to Mixer, you know, for those who, you know, um, follow me there, you, you saw and you witnessed, but for all those who are here on YouTube, I did want to share um, like some of my experiences with the game, um, enjoy some of the commentary from BG, Black Bond, Jack Move, they're arguing over Death Stranding, um, um, hope you guys enjoy uh, the outer worlds is definitely up there probably one of my game of the years uh, is definitely going to be in top five uh games of 2019 that i played um hope you guys enjoy man as a uh, 
uh, like a border patrol officer, right? Did and you, you check people's players, uh, check people's papers, and you literally do a mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But uh, since the uh, regime that you're under is a very oppressive one and you're working for them, you have many different options on if you let people through the border without papers or not. But it is literally a job. Okay. Why is that game really highly rated? Is because of the experience it gives you. So it's not traditionally fun because you're yeah. literally oh, doing oh, oh, work. Okay, here's the difference. Here's, here's the difference, right? You say it's not traditionally fun, right? But at the same time, at the, at the same oh, time, that's what the review is. At the same time, it's not. Here they come. It's not Fade over. I, I mean, I'm liking the game, but just part of the game. It's weird. So. It's weird. Yeah, okay, we know that. But it's like, 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 like
thought I lived to see this. Because you guys don't play many different games. I have never, I have never thought I would enter a chat and have somebody who beat the game in here telling you I find it fun. I think it's good. Hold on, what does Santa Claus bring people? Yo, for you. What does Santa Claus bring you? Let me just, everybody in this chat plays different games, by the way. Like, I play different games from Black Bob, Black Bob takes, plays different games from Barrett, Riggity, we all play different, Shokyo, that we all play different types of type, type, type games. So, so PG, what do you think about Detroit then? What about uh, uh, Telltale Walking Dead or whatever? I, I, I'm, I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm okay. He wanted to put together a nice little interactive movie for all the stands that's going to buy it anyway because they're dumbass. And he wanted to get his Hollywood with friends in there so they could vouch for You don't know how glad I am writer. to see you. He could make a good movie. You did not. Akande was a monster. Her death was much well, no, deserved. Whew, long <laughs> overdue. Uh, probably you. Woo! Probably you well, lunatic. You broke into the board's like own fortress probably just to rescue one doddering really old man. Yeah, you are absolutely yeah, out of your no, mind. I really and I can't begin to I thank you enough. That, but I don't like it. Jack don't even seem to be into it. Like, like I'm, I'm, I'm probably, probably the only one that really liked it. I don't like it. Nobody, nobody liked it like I liked it. I don't, I don't, that's like, it's weird. 
I think that's weird. But... Oh no, man. What made me what made me like Killzone because it felt very different from every other shooter. That was one of my favorite games last year in person. So I, I, I that's one of my favorite Sony games. I've I've been saying that for months. I've been saying that for years actually. <sighs> man. So. Honestly, uh, ah, all in a day's work for you, huh? God of War. You've and broken the board's stranglehold on yeah. this colony, Whew. and you it's saved my life. But there's still so much like, we have yet to accomplish. It's not a, it's not a, you like, and I are going, going to have to work harder than ever to <coughs> save Halcyon. Uh, I'm afraid this situation I mean, is far worse than, cutscenes than cutscenes any of us ever anticipated. Like the opening couple <coughs> have a lot of cutscenes. So. No. Is it, is it QTEs in between, or like... No, no, no. It's just... I you, would you like know, nothing more than to celebrate yeah. this victory, but we, we have, have a serious problem on our hands. Yeah, yeah. It, it Earth has like gone dark. We haven't received like a single message in three <laughs> years. The There's been no communication, no signals, from that nothing. <laughs> Two years ago, the Earth's directorate's frigate disappeared on their way back to Earth. We don't know what they discovered when they arrived, or if they arrived at all. So we've got to make do on our own. It seems to me that'll make us stronger in the end anyhow. You're quite right. We've got no choice but to make do on our own. You mean... We're all alone out here? Really alone? I'm afraid so, Miss Holcomb. Halcyon is the only home we have left. Returning to Earth is no longer an option. We're in serious trouble, my friend. Do you know what this means for Halcyon? We can't rely on Earth for support anymore. We've been cut loose. We're entirely on our own. I don't know, man. I don't know. Fetch Quest that God of War has. It didn't really have Fetch Quests, honestly. I can't think of Yes, we do. You've done a marvelous thing. You've succeeded where anyone else would have failed, including me. Oh, yeah, them five. Yeah, okay, must like, begin yeah, the revival yeah, process like, immediately, like, like, starting with the hope's like, brightest yeah. minds, and then yeah. we're going to fix this oh, damn yeah. colony um, one problem at a time. About this. We're going to need a leader, yeah, and I can't imagine a better that person that for the job be than you. What do you say, old yeah. friend? And Will you help right. us? You're the one who's right, the gatekeeper of fun. <laughs> When I revived you, I thought you were going to help me save this colony. I was wrong. I do too. I had our roles reversed, you see. You're the one who's going to save us all. I'm just the one who set you on your path. You're the best thing to ever happen to Halcyon. If you want to take it upon yourself to lead this colony, you have my support. We're not a colony any longer, are we? Our last connection to Earth has been severed, and so we have been set free. Our future is uncertain, and no one knows what tomorrow holds. Exciting, like, and, and, and isn't it? I think early on, like, I started to, like, joke around and say, oh, Konami was right. Like, no, I absolutely believe that. I think he was, like, like, all this shit was going to his head. And, Ko like, Kojima definitely makes games for him. The OSI teaches that everything in the universe happens according to the grand plan. But the strange thing that arrived in Halcyon was an unplanned variable. From the moment he landed in Emerald Vale, his actions altered the course of history. The events on Tartarus brought about the end of the board's authority. But the board's mistakes would haunt the colony for decades to come.